In this section, I'll show you how to restore Rustic backups. In the last section, I backed up my documents, music, pictures, and videos. I'm now going to add this folder software that has a bunch of executables. I'm going to add that to the backup, and we're going to restore some data. I'll just bring back my backup command and add the software folder and run that. All right, it's complete. And we've got software in our repository. Let's do the screen here. And let's assume that I removed, permanently removed, deleted my software folder. Now it's gone forever. So let's look at restoring our backup. There's a couple of ways you can restore. You can restore an entire snapshot. You can restore specific folders or files. We'll look at restoring an entire snapshot first. So when you restore a snapshot, the first thing you want to do is find out which snapshot you want to restore from. If I do snapshots, we see all the IDs. If I wanted to restore from this snapshot, I would use this ID. Or if I wanted to restore from this snapshot, I'd use this ID. So I'll just copy this snapshot ID. And we could do restic minus R on media. And we use the restore command and put the snapshot ID that we want to restore from. If you know you want to restore from just the latest snapshot, you could also replace the ID with latest. So we'll do that and set the target. This target option tells Rustic where you want to restore the files. So I'll restore to C on my desktop and I'll restore to a folder called restored. We'll go ahead and restore our snapshot. As you can see here, it created the folder and created the subfolder called C and all the other subfolders down to our folders and files. And we can see our software folders back. Now by default, Rustic restores this way using the full path of the folders and files. I'll show you how you can restore the files to a specific folder so it's not like this. We'll come back when this is done. It's complete and we get this ignoring error for stuff like my pictures, my music and so on. This has to do with Microsoft's built-in folders which you can ignore. The main thing that we care about is that our data is restored. And now I have my software that I can put back into my home folder. So I'll just go ahead and drag that here. And I now have my software back. And again, the command was Rustic on our repository. We use the restore command on our latest snapshot or the snapshot ID that you want to restore from. And then we set the target or destination for the restored data. Let's now look at restoring specific folders. If we do ls on latest, Rustic shows us the paths of every folder and file in the snapshot. When you want to restore a specific folder, like in the case of videos, you need to use the exact path that Rustic has in the snapshot. So for example, let's bring back our restore command. And this time, instead of restoring the entire snapshot, we'll restore the videos folder. So we'll use the include option and copy or type in the path. In this case, it's going to be C users Ray videos. So now we're telling Rustic to restore from our latest snapshot, only restore my videos folder and restore it to a folder on my desktop called restore. I've gone ahead and deleted the restored folders. So we'll let that go. If we go in here, again, it puts everything in a full path where we have our videos folder and all of our videos are coming back and it's complete. Now let's look at restoring specific files. Let's go ahead and remove all of this again. Bring back our restore command. And let's go back to software and remove my stream link 
file. This time, let's assume we do not know the path to Streamleak in our repository. How do we find this file in the path to restore from? Again, you can use ls to list the files. And I did not type that password in correctly. But if you have a whole bunch of files, like millions of files, this isn't really useful. What you could do instead is find files using the find command. We can do restic find and tell restic what to find using a pattern or file pattern. And if we look at the restic help for find, gives you an example of some of these patterns. So if you wanted to search for all JSON files, you can use a pattern like asterisk.json and so on. In this case, I want to find a file called streamlink. So I'll just type streamlink and I'll surround it with two asterisks. And we're going to be looking in our latest snapshot. And doing that returns one result. And this is the path to our stream link. Keep in mind that Rustic is case sensitive. So if I did this again, but used a lowercase stream link, it returns nothing. You can tell Rustic to ignore case by using ignore case. And then you would get a result. Now all we have to do is Rustic minus R on media. We're going to restore and we want to only include this file in our restore. We're going to restore to our desktop again. And we're going to restore from latest. Notice that I put the snapshot ID at the end. It doesn't matter where you place the snapshot ID so long as you put it in the command so it knows where to restore from. I simply forgot to put it after the command, which I usually do. So we have here our file. Now rest it keeps restoring to this full path and we don't really want that. What I would like is for Restic to restore this file specifically in our software folder. So let's do that. So we'll bring back our restore command and do Restic restore. And then we'll look inside the subfolder in our repository. We'll type latest snapshot ID followed by a colon and then the path to our software folder inside the repository. So that's going to be in C. This is the snapshot ID and the path inside the repository that we want to look for. This syntax is how you can restore whole subfolders from within the repository. So now all we have to do is tell Rustic to only include the stream link executable inside this folder. And then tell Rustic where to restore. And we're going to restore into this folder. And this should restore our stream link file inside our software folder in my home folder. And we can see it here. The stream link executable is back. To make restoring subfolders a little bit more clear, let's go ahead and restore our software folder to our desktop. Then we'll just include the entire folder itself. And I'll save it into a folder called software on my desktop. And so instead of getting that folder called C, it's going to give us a folder called software with just the software stuff inside. And it created our folder software. And notice it's just restoring our software files. So this is useful if you want to restore a specific folder to a specific location without Restic creating a whole bunch of subfolders. Lastly, I'd like to show you how to exclude files and folders from a restore. Let's go ahead and restore from our second snapshot. I want to restore everything in a snapshot except for my documents folder. So I just want my music, pictures, and videos. If I do ls on that snapshot, I want to make sure I get the right path. We want to exclude this path. So we'll do restic. We'll restore from this ID. 
and will tell Wessex to exclude this path and restore again back to our desktop into a folder called restored. So this will go ahead and restore everything from that second snapshot, everything except our documents folder. And sure enough, we have our music, pictures, and videos, but no documents. Likewise, if I wanted to exclude a file, let's go ahead and restore our documents, but let's exclude our Firefox flags file, txt. Let's bring back this command. We're going to restore everything except this file. And let me just move this. And another thing too is notice this include and exclude that we used. Include to include, exclude to exclude files. You can also use I exclude, which is case insensitive meaning Rustic will ignore the case sensitivity of file names. So I could do lowercase Firefox flags, and this would exclude this file, whether it's uppercase or lowercase. There's also I include when you want to ignore case sensitivity for includes. Use I exclude. And sure enough, we will have our restored files. We have our documents and we have everything in our documents except that Firefox flags file. We will look more at including and excluding files when backing up, restoring, and listing files in future sections. In the next section, we'll be looking at backing up over a network.